Hi guys, let's take a look at this question where learners investigated the relationship between mass of an object and the acceleration it experiences when a constant net force is applied on the object. And they use the results to draw this little graph as we can see below. 4.1. State Newton's second law of motion in words. When a net force acts on an object, the object will accelerate in the direction of the force and the acceleration will be directly proportional to the net, net force and inversely proportional to the mass of the object. Okay, I'm sure we all know Newton's second law of motion, right? 4.2. Calculate the gradient of the graph. Remember, we can use any two points on the graph to calculate the gradient because it's going to be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, let's use, let's use a solid, two solid ones, right? Well, it's fine, two solid ones. So there we have 2.5 and 1.4. So 2.5, 1.2.5, and that would be 0 and 0, right? So then we take the calculator and we get the gradient to be 2. 4.3, hence determine the net force applied on the object during the experiment. So 4.3 at the top here. So we have the gradient now, right? All right, so we know that our gradient is equal to one over mass times acceleration. And what do we know about mass times acceleration? That is F net, all right? That is our net force. So if our gradient is two, our net force will be a half, or you can write 0 0.5 Newtons. The conclusion of this experiment could just be that acceleration is inversely proportional to the mass of the object if the net force is kept constant. And that is it, guys. See ya.